Hi, my name is Louis McConnell, and we're going to be talking about habits and agency today. So, in class, we talked a lot about the negative parts of habits and agency and how they can, you know, deter from your creative potential. But I think I want to touch on some of the benefits of habits and agency in this video, and I want to do that through contextualization through this instrument, the piano. Um, so, I believe that, you know, in class, we talked about how habits and agency can be something that are used to limit the amount of options that you have and the amount of things that you can think about. However, in things like the piano, these habits and agency form a basis part of your understanding. For example, through the chord. That simple major chord is seen in many different places throughout the piano. And we can use that by just applying the major chord across different positions. And using the same kind of habit formation that we use when reading music in order to develop the skill of learning this great instrument. Um, in that respect, I think that the ability to learn habits is extremely powerful. Um, but at the same time, I think that it's important that we do strongly address that we, what we discussed in class about habit formation. I think one of the important things about playing the piano is forming the habit of practicing every single week for a particular specific period of time, making sure that you go back to the piano and that you're working on all the songs that you need to work on. Um, my, I myself have noticed that it's very easy to slip out of this routine and form a habit of not practicing. Uh, which is something that I think has definitely deterred me from becoming much stronger in my piano skills. Uh, in this respect, I think I've even lost agency in that I don't even notice that I'm not practicing when I should be. Um, so overall, I think I just want to say that habits and agency aren't necessarily a bad thing. The habits we form in playing chords are very, very valuable to us. Um, but on the other hand, it can be a problem. For example, what I was talking about with my ability to practicing. Um, thank you very much. My name is Lee McConnell, and thank you for watching this vlog.